Addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. But what happens when an addiction can't be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet, the rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. This is FishAddictions.com. We're out here today, Red Lake Indian Reservation, Jordan's Guide Service. We're going to be chasing some uh, rainbow trout through the ice. Justin says that the, the brighter colors of tungstens and tipping them with plastics or uh, waxies for what they're catching the trout on out here. Bingo! Just a head shake. Out here fishing with Jordan's guide service out in the backwoods. That was awesome. You got to do this. Fishing that check eye tungsten jig from custom jigs and spins. Catching rainbow trout, man. <laughs> we'll be using some sort of flash from these Vexlar FLX 28s with that adjustable Pro View Deucer. You can turn your gain up and widen your cone angle out. Gives you a lot better view. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Right on me. Oh, and he faded. That's another thing with these trout. They won't come in and just kiss a bait and try and inhale it because they don't have the mouth structure for it. They actually come just flying in and slash at it. So you get them come in and they'll miss the bait periodically, but they give you a second, third, sometimes a fourth chance at uh, getting a hook in one. Just a really fun species to go after. We're out here fishing trout today with uh, Jordan Guide Service. And tell us a little bit about your guide service. Well, this is my third year doing it. Um, still getting into it quite a bit. Um, come out, found out that I like fishing them. I'm personally a walleye, but these things are just, they're so fun to catch. The head shakes they give yep. you is crazy. What the, what can someone expect when they're coming out fishing with you, Justin? Catch fish. Catch fish, <laughs> that's what we've been doing today. <laughs> Uh, it hasn't been as hot as he says, Justin says it can be, but we're catching plenty of fish today. This is a blast. Look at the beautiful colors of these fish. Now these are stock trout, right? Yep, that's correct. Now this is probably uh, what, 16 inch fish, yep. something like that. This yep. is average size. That's about average size right now, yep. Uh, what, what are the bigger ones guys get into? Um, biggest on, on this lake here is uh, uh, 22 and a half inches right now. Okay. 
Um, but you got a couple of lakes where they're catching upwards of 26. Oh yeah, we we got 25s, 26s, 24s, quite a bit of 24s out of one of the other lakes. Besides the rainbows, what else are you guys catching? Uh, we got brooks up here, brook trout. Uh, we do have a lake trout lake, but that one's closed uh, for hard water. Okay. So uh, open water, we can definitely get out and get them if you guys want. So you do do open water yep. as well? Yep, we do open water, uh, all species except lower red. So you can get you can get anybody on basically any species they Pretty want good. up here? Yep. How did these guys get a hold of you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Jordan's Guide Service. Um, has all my information there, cell phone number. Just go from there. We'll also have it on our Facebook site, Jordan's Guide Service. Check them out. We're catching trout out here today. And later on today, when we're done messing with the trout, we're going pouting. trout snacks we just moved lakes Justin decided that the lake we were on weren't quite quite catching enough 15 seconds another trout on just caught this one on the the tickle stick this black Betty reel from 13 fishing is a, a nice reel when you're working a water column from top to bottom slowly and it'll, it'll uh, they won't free spool out you actually got to pull the line out so you can work down in little six inch increments um just one of the tactics we're trying to apply today <laughs> come here buddy man these things are just hard to get a hold of Ooh, a male look at the beautiful colors on these fish just you know this fish 15 16 inches they fight like a much bigger fish. Man, we're having a blast out here today fix, fishing with Jordan Guide Service. You can't beat this. We're using light gear. Four pound test, fluorocarbon on the tickle stick, the ultra light tickle stick. This is awesome. We were picking, uh, picking up some rainbows out in that 20, 24 foot depth range earlier. And... Uh, we decided to move up a little bit shallower to see if we could stick a brookie or two and and chaz just stuck a beautiful brook trout um at another fish here we're in eight feet of water now and uh a little more activity up shallower here and hoping to get a few more of these brook trout they're just such a pretty fish did not like it once he got close that was crazy he was he come up he was probably six feet below me just screaming up at it. Either he missed the bait or he didn't like it. I'm gonna try a different, get a different color down there. It's a nice thing about these plastics, you know, you can really fine tune your color presentation, not just for trout, just any species. Um, go through different color combinations of jig heads versus plastics, much like you would open water. And really just fine tune that presentation to what the fish want on any given day. an awesome day out here fishing the Red Lake Reservation with Justin Jourdain. It was a really neat experience getting out catching these uh, trout through the ice. Um, it's uh, kind of a unique opportunity that they have out here. Just remember you do have to have a tribal guide like Justin. Uh, make sure to check out Jordan Guide Service on Facebook. It'll point you in the right direction. And Jordan Guide Service does offer summer guiding and winter guiding, so remember that. We caught several species of fish today, 
rainbow trout and brook trout. We fished three different lakes today, all producing fish. We had a great experience out here with Jordan's guide service. It's about midday and we're gonna switch gears. Pro staff Chaz Tobias has got a hot eel pout bite. We'll be hitting that shortly. Here we are on the second half of our trout and pout excursion. We spent the morning fishing trout with Just, Justin Jordan and Jordan Guide Service. Now this afternoon, pro staffer Chaz got us, uh, we're gonna try to catch some pout. What are we gonna be doing today? Uh, we're in a Bemidji area lake, uh, Cass Lake, huge lake, a lot of deep water. Um, we'll be chasing some pre-spawn pout. Um, they're kind of concentrating to their spawning areas right now. Um, gonna drill a whole bunch of holes, gorgeous day out, so. We're sitting here today pout fishing on Cass Lake, and Chaz hands me this thing. What are we doing <laughs> with this? We're gonna catch some pout with that. This is ounce and a half, two yeah, ounces? Yeah, that's probably about ounce and a half. I think this one's just shy of an ounce here. How are we going to rig these up for pout? Uh, I'll show you what I do. Yeah, so you got fat heads here. I mean, they're cheap metal. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need to buy any shiners or anything. I take my first minnow on my glow spoon here. And I just go through the, through the head. So you got a full minnow on there, past the barb, so it stays on there. And I'll take my other hooks and I'll put minnow heads on there. Just for added scent. Um, they like they like meat. So basically we're giving them a, bu a buffet line. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I cannot yeah. tell you, I'm excited to log into a pout with this monster. We're gonna put this 13 rod to the test tonight, hopefully. The, today we're running the 13 Fishing Wicked, 31 inch rod. I'm running braid, 10 pound line on here. I'm uh, ready for a big fight. So that's basically rigged up right there. All you gotta do is glow it up, start pounding some bottom, and they're gonna come in. So you fish them a lot like a walleye when they come in? Pound um, them up or just Usually I'll of... bring them up and I'll pause. And you know, there's usually no hesitation with these pouts, especially this time of the year. Um, you know, that's, that's meat. They want that, they're hungry. So Right now they're podding up for? They're spawning, they're balling they're up spawning. right now, yep. Okay. So I mean, so you basically, find one, you're gonna great find spawning few. grounds behind us, and you know, deep water out here, deep basins. That's where they normally hide out. You know, most of the summer because you know they don't like they like deep water. So I'm excited. Ch Chas wasn't lying. <laughs> Hooked up. Oh, ooh. You'll Shaking. know when he gets to the bottom of the hole. He'll start swirling. There he is. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Nice. On the board, buddy. Five minutes, if that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the colors on these things. I've caught pouts in Lake of the Woods, not fishing for them. I have never seen a pout with the color of this ass. That is beautiful. That is. Holy yeah, this is, this is the color of the Bemidji area pout. That was intense, like I just dropped it down, bam, and uh, not even five minutes. Right on, right on the bottom. Right on the bottom, right? Just bam, 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 the bottom, bam, it? the bottom, lift it up about two feet, boom. <laughs> that was awesome. You'll feel them go around the edge of the bottom of the hole. Powerful, powerful fish, a really underutilized species.
There you go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, baby. Okay. Now these jigs we're using are uh, extremely glow bright paint jobs on them. Go ahead and hit it with the light. As you can see, and they retain this glow for a while. And these eel pout have pretty poor vision. Um, they've got a rattle in them. We're putting a lot of meat on them. And then this glow, as you can see here, can be seen from a long ways off. things hit like a freight train and they got some way this is a 31 medium heavy it just doubled over here get the deucer out of the hole there Whoa. talk about a powerhouse of a fish look at that just dog and bang 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 you cannot as easily accessible as these fish are you're missing out if you're not chasing them late ice. There he is right at the hole. Oh. Just head shake after head shake. And here she comes with that big glow jig in the mouth. You saw me charge that thing up moments ago and it's still just glowing bright. Nice eel pout. The second half of our trout and pout trip today, well, we just got a triple. And, you know, I want to thank Chaz for setting this stuff up. Uh, it's been an awesome day. First half of the day, we caught a ton of trout. Tonight, we're catching eel pouts. You know, fishing season for walleyes and pike and bass is closed, but there's still plenty of ice fishing action as you've seen today. 